Hey folks, today we're making a V-block. What this will let us do is uh, complete a couple of machining operations on the receiver itself. It's got a slot for the bolt handle. It's got a channel to hold the receiver itself. And underneath it has clearance for a bolt and a socket. I'm going to mill a slot right here for a side bolt release. And I'm also going to tap these out to 840. I'm going to need a clamping fixture or a V-block to uh, hold this in the mill securely and accurately. Our dimensions from hole to hole is 7 and 3 8 on a long action Remington. So I'm going to make this 8 inches because it really doesn't need to be any longer. My x-axis is only 9 inches on this mill. These will be counterboard. We're probably going to go about half deep on our notch. The end will look like this. We're at about one and three eighths. So if we go one inch, I think we'll have plenty of clearance. And then, of course, one inch tall. These two holes will be quarter inch drilled all the way through. I'm going to square this up, do those first, and then I'll mill my slot. So I'll drill my holes quarter inch, I'll counter bore those for the Allen head screw. So my vise is bolted down to the ways here, and it's lined up within a, a half hour or so with the travel of the actual ways. My problem is I have milling cutters made to cut flat spots, so I don't have anything angled. I do have a sign vise, but with 8 inches of material, you're going to have a few inches sticking out on the ends, which is not going to be supported, and it's going to lend to a lot of chattering. It would appear I have a high spot right here in the center, but if I got to lose a thou here and there, I'm not going to worry about it. The beauty of it is, once I true up this side and make it nice and straight, I can just go to the back and start on it too. That way both of my sides will be exactly parallel. Yep, with the sanding I'll have to do to that, um, that'll be fine. 973 there, and 973 there. So, I, I didn't get a full inch, I had to clean it up a little bit, get that scale off of there. Uh, but once I did, I quit. I'm going to sand this anyway, so I'll get it down the perfect, uh, as close as I can get it. Now what I need to do is drill three holes in there. I've decided to make this adaptable for a short action as well, so I'll put my tang hole right here and then the other two for the short and long action I'm going to put over in this area here. So I'll try to lay this out with the camera in the way. I'm pretty close to 8 inches but I know that I am just a hair more so what I'll do is I'll find my center. Alright, that ain't bad. 979, 977, so 977, half of that is 488. So my exact center is right about, now all I need to do is find my hole to hole dimension, which is 7 and 3 eighths, 3.687. So now I go the same amount this way. And the short action is six and a half. So what I'll have to do is mark this one down here and go six inches right there. Plus I'll do another half. So I made that little divot right here with the countersink. Um, this is my, my sharpest tool in the shed here. And it's really good at making an indentation 
because when I put pressure on this bit, it tends to walk. So when I use that countersink bit, that establishes my, uh, my hole. I'm using a letter I drill bit on this. It's about 270 something. That'll give me a little bit of extra play laterally. So I countersink that a little bit deeper than normal because when I finish up with my end mill, it helps guide the end mill in right above the uh, hole. Bottom side is done. Six, seven, nine, six, six. All right. I'm going to put a little sanding on this, get rid of the burrs, and then we'll check it up in the sign vise and get her on an angle. So I have it aligned this way, now I need to put a carpenter square underneath it to check my 45 angle. Uh, but this bar is in the way, so i got to pull it out. Oops. I don't need the bar in this particular application, so I'm going to go ahead and leave him off. Alright, we are good. Somehow I got a couple thou creep in there. So I've added a third clamp here to uh, reach inside the center and bring that front end in. I'm still a couple thou off on the uh, on the surface here, so what I'll go ahead and do is just loosen up this left side, tap it in where it needs to be.
marking out for the bolt handle. Point one four zero two point one three nine. Not bad, not bad at all. I'm satisfied with that. <laughs> 